Okay, this intro to CSS assignment, I'm just going to show you how to do it. Um, there's a lot here, and if you're confused, if you're having a hard time, this will hopefully help you, and I'll just go through it with you to show you how to do it. So it starts with a video, the basics of CSS, and I'm going to skip it because I'll just tell you what the video tells you. Um, if you want more information, you can go back and watch that video. I'm also going to skip this quick tip um, f uh, section for now, and I'll come back to it. Um, but we need to know some basics of the CSS and what it looks like. So I'm going to go to this first challenge, the colorful creature. So here, um, Khan Academy up here tells you um, what it wants you to do uh, in the first steps. And then down here it will say, once you get that step done, you click on next step. And it also gives you some hints right up here, which is nice and helpful. So I'll just go through it. First it says, let's have you make a web page about an awesome animal and color the web page to look like it. For this first step, use the image picker to add an image to the page that shows the animal and then fill in the paragraph with information about it. So it's already got some information. That's the HTML. We've already learned that. We're, we are going to style it. That's the CSS. Cascading style sheets is to style the page. And we've already done some of this, um, but we've done it a certain way. We've put it in inside the tags in the HTML section. And so what we have done is put a style attribute, style equals, and then in parentheses we put a, a declaration we call it. And it's, it consists of a property and a value. So if we say color of navy, then it turns that navy blue. It's not real noticeable because it's close to black, but if I put it um, uh, red, and it will be noticeable. So this is what we've done in, in the past, and this is called inline CSS. It's inline with the the tag, and so we are. There's a better way to do it. We're going to take that out and put it up here in the head section outside of the body tag, so it's not actually on the page or in the HTML, but it's referencing the HTML. So let me show you how that works. And we're going to keep. We're going to get rid of all this. In fact, let me set it up up here first, and I'll show you what parts of this we're going to use. So inside the head tags it wants me to put actually you know what it first wants me to put an image so let me just do that an image tag img we've done this before and then as soon as i put a source attribute with the quotes it gives me the gives me the image picker this is just a khan academy thing we can't do this in notepad or any other text editor so i'm just going to pick a nice picture that i like uh let's see what's something okay how about the monocle they call him old spice man He's got a monocle, so I'm going to call him Monocle Man. Okay, um, now I've got that image tag, but I have to close it out. This is all inside the image tag, but well, first I'm going to put an alt tag and say Monocle Man. It's just the name of it. Height and width I'm not going to worry about. I'm just going to close it out with the, the ending bracket there, and there's my picture uh, on the page. Okay, so now that I did that, let's see if it tells me to go to the next step. Not yet. There's more. It says, can you use strong and M tags to describe what the animal is and why it's awesome? So right here it says the is awesome because, so it's not a complete sentence. It wants me to finish that. And right here it's, it's pointing to this M tag, which is emphasis. So that's italicized. And the monocle man is awesome. And see right here it's, it's um, the, the M tag makes it italics puts it in italics italicized it is awesome because and then in the strong tags this is a bold this is how you do uh, bold text in HTML and CSS so it's awesome because I don't know he has a monocle what more would you want okay he has he has a monocle and then over here it's it's in bold right there so getting closer oh I still don't have it all Add an image, show the animal, and fill in the paragraph with information about it. Let's see, what am I missing? Um, because he has a monocle. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's done. I don't know why it says getting closer. Okay, next step. So then it comes up here. I come up here and it tells me what's next. Now we want to add some CSS, but there's no style tag. And see right here, it gives me a clue. It's in it's after the title. It says that right here, just below your title tag. We want opening style, closing style tags. So right here, it's inside the head tags with the meta and the title. And I'm going to put a opening style and it gives me a closing style. I'm just gonna press enter once. 
And this is instead of this right here, it replaces this, and it just keeps track of it all right here within the style tags. So I'm going to keep this declaration right here. I'm going to copy that, Control C, or Command C on a Mac. And the first thing we need is, actually I've done that step, so I'm going to click Next Step. And then it tells me add a CSS rule to change the background of the whole page. So to change the background, we could put it right here in the body tag, right? That's what we've done before, style equals, and then put our declaration, which is um, background color and whatever color we want. So instead of putting it down there, I'm going to put it up here now. It's the better way of doing it. So we first have to have a selector, it's called. And right here in the hint, it shows the selector. It's just the name of the tag, whatever we want affected by this um, style rule. Or CSS rule. So the selector is body, and I don't put the tag, I don't, it's not the tag that I want, it's just the, the word, which is the name of the tag, but I don't have the brackets on it. And then I put a curly brace or curly brackets, and when I push enter, they give me a second one. Um, and so right here in between these curly braces, so the selector is the body, and then any, any de declaration that I have inside here is going to affect the style of the page. So I'm just going to, oh, so right here, I would copy and paste, but it will not do in the H1, so I'm just gonna get rid of this. Eh, I'll do it later. So the body tag, I it's a declaration, which is consists of a property, background color, and colon, and then the value, which I'm going to put, I don't know, uh, what should I put, green, light green. And I could put any color there. They use, Khan Academy likes to use the RGB stuff, that's fine. I'm just gonna put some simple names. So I've got this light green color there. That's all I need uh, for the background color. Now, I press enter after the first curly bracket. I'm gonna put curly brace, I'm gonna put another one. And it probably wants me to go to the next step, I will. And it tells me add a CSS rule to change the color of the paragraph. So that's this down here. Inspire. Um, I wonder if it skipped the title because I already put it. We'll see. So the paragraph down here. Now the selector is going to be the name of the tag, which is just P. And then I'll put opening curly bracket and press enter. And then inside the two curly brackets, I will put a property and value. So it wants it to be just a color. So color, colon, this is my declaration. And I want this one to be, I don't know, navy. Okay, so that's now navy, it changed. And let's see if the next step, see if it's the title, heading, yeah, okay. So it's, I don't know why it's going backwards. Change the color of the heading. And so it gives me a hint right here. See, here's the, the selector. And here's the property and the value, the declaration inside the curly brackets, curly braces. So I'm gonna press enter one more time and do an H1 is the name of the tag. So it's just referencing the, the selector is referencing a tag name, okay? And so I'll show you a couple things here in a second to just so you know what's going on here. Opening curly bracket, closing it gives me, and I'm going to put my declaration which is to change the color. And see here, I already have it down here, and so I could copy and paste it, just control C, control V, and there it is, but I don't want it red, I'm going to change it to something better, maybe, uh, uh, let's see, I don't know, a light green, no, I've already got light green as a background, dark green, I don't know why it's jumping around so much, but there we go, dark green, and I have to take this out because I've actually got two styles now, and it always takes the one below. Cascading style sheets means that it, whatever is lower, if there's a duplicate that's lower, because I'm duplicating this style attribute in the H1 tag, it overlook, well, it does this first, but then it comes down here and says, oh, you want it red, actually, so I'm gonna switch it to red. So I'm taking this out, and now it goes dark green, okay? So, we want to take out all the style attributes from the HTML, and we want to put them in one section, the style tag section, okay? So here I have all my declarations, all my CSS rules, and it's making colors and stuff. What I wanted to show you real quick, because that's it, I can finish it by clicking that. Nothing, well, I'll show you that in a second. So real quick, I can choose, Let's see, let's see. If I wanted both of these the same color, let's say I want them both dark green instead of navy and dark green. 
instead of making two different um, CSS rules, so let me just put dark green. See, now they're both dark green. But that's doing a little more than we have to. Watch this. If I just take this out completely, the paragraph, since the heading comes first, right here, I, can, I could state multiple selectors. And so I'm going to just put a comma and P right there. So that means, see, it went back to dark green, both of them, before it was black. See, it's black. It's hard to kind of, it's hard to see that. Um, but if I put an H1 comma P, it's doing both of those. Any H1s that it finds and any paragraphs it finds, it's going to make them dark green. So we can simplify it uh, things a little bit. So here also, let me show one other thing. If I do this background color right here, if I put it right here, let me show you. Whoops, I don't know what that did. Uh, oh, bookmarks. Control V. If I make just the H1 and the, the paragraph background light green instead of the whole thing, let's see, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's not letting me, let me just take this whole thing out, I don't know, there we go. Okay, so there's nothing, no background in the body tag, it's now just the background color in the H1 and the paragraph, see right here, it gave a background color of just these tags and it, it goes all the way across the page and so, um, whatever declarations you put in there, it's going to affect the page that way. So I'm going to take this out, Control X to cut it, and Control V to paste, and it goes back. That's okay. And this is what I want. Actually, I want a separate paragraph. See, now if I put, see, if I want them different colors, I have to make them separate, and I had them separate before. So I guess I'll just go back and put it the way I wanted. I just wanted to show you what that's doing with the selectors and all that. Navy. Okay, and then I'm done. So that's all you need for that one, but we're I just need you to understand the style tags instead of the style attributes down below. We're just going to have HTML down here. It just is cleaner that way. And having all the CSS right up here.